Hi, right, we are here at the Tour de Georgia with Levi Leipheimer. Levi, you are sort of the uh, hands-on favorite for this race. How does that make you feel coming into starting a race when you got the target on your back? Well, uh, I guess it's it's logical, but uh, you know we got. I think we proved here last year that you know you can't watch just one guy, and we have a strong team. So hopefully they're not going to just look at me and make us do all the work. And that's kind of the role we've taken on, like last year and this year. But yeah, I think it's you know we've earned it. So it's uh, it's an honor to be looked upon to take all the responsibility <laughs> last year that obviously the break went up the road and changed the gc you came back you won the time trial you won brass down how much of that was proven a point a lot yeah um i mean i had good form and i felt like i was the strongest rider in the race and you know you gotta you gotta take your victories when you can because you know we we don't win a lot in this sport so um we had a strong enough team to do it all and there's no reason not to to win those two stages how does how's your form now compared to a year ago? It's uh it's hard to say. You know, I I felt really good in training and um, I'm just hoping for the best. But like I said, we have a strong team and you could see the same thing happen like last year. Break go away and and everyone kind of miscalculates and you never know. Um, who do you see as the big threats on GC? Who's going to be able to challenge Astana at this race? I think uh, Sevilla could be a big threat. You know, when when you talk about if if the race is all together at the bottom of Brasstown, it's Sevilla and possibly Danielson. Uh, he's a bit of an unknown, but you know he's won here twice before on Brasstown, so you got to count him. Uh, other than that, you know, definitely can't let Botero go anywhere. He's a fighter, and and if you give him a two seconds, it's two seconds you won't get back. So we'll see.